It's painful and heart-wrenching for a family when one child goes missing. But to find out they died? How can one even describe that kind of pain? Added to that pain is, what if it is done by someone you or anyone would never think of? Let's unravel together the case of Maddie Clifton for today's Tragic Stary episode. Maddie Clifton, an 8-year-old girl, was suspected missing at around 5 p.m. on November 3, 1998. The officers arrested a neighbor who had a previous sexual assault case 15 to 20 years before. The charges were then dropped as he was able to provide a solid alibi despite failing the polygraph test. The police eventually had to drop the investigation around Maddie because they had no leads. The volunteers, however, did not give up hope and continued to search for the poor girl. Along with the volunteers was Joshua Phillips, a 14-year-old neighbor of Maddie's who together with the other volunteers posted flyers and canvas. There was a reward offer of 50,000 US dollars to anyone who could provide the whereabouts of the little girl. The reward money was raised to $100,000 when that didn't work. The FBI became involved when the local police were unable to turn up any evidences. On November 10th, Maddie's parents had just finished taping an interview with a national news program, hoping it would result in information on Maddie's disappearance when their neighbor, Mr. Phillips, ran across the street to find a police officer. Phillips had led the officer to the bedroom of her 14-year-old son. Missy had been cleaning her son's room when she noticed his waterbed to be leaking onto the floor. She began checking the bed when she found the source of the leak. The leak turned out to be Maddie Clifton's body, which was entombed inside the frame. Maddie's body was found partially clothed, bludgeoned with a baseball bat and stabbed multiple times. Mrs. Phillips had even been part of the search parties unaware Maddie's body was so close. Police drove to the middle school of Joshua Earl Patrick Phillips to arrest him for the murder of Maddie Clifton. When questioned as to why he would hurt Maddie, Phillips explained that they had been playing when he accidentally hit her with a baseball. The ball had hit her in the eye and started bleeding. She unsurprisingly began to scream and cry due to the pain. Phillips was apparently so terrified of what his father's reaction might be, an alcoholic with a temper, if he would find out he was playing with someone while his parents weren't home. So he dragged Maddie into his home, up to his room. He recalls Maddie's clothes falling off as he dragged her into his room. This is where he hit her again with the baseball bat to stop her from screaming. She had become unresponsive. He had then stuffed her unconscious body under the base of his bed. When Joshua learned that Maddie was still alive, moaning under his bed, he removed the mattress, cut her throat, and stabbed her in the chest with a knife to ensure she was dead before stuffing her again beneath his bed. The autopsy revealed that Maddie was bitten over the head and stabbed nine times in the chest and twice in the neck. On November 19 of 1998, a grand jury found Joshua Phillips guilty of first-degree murder. Phillips was tried as an adult and sentenced to life imprisonment in 1999 and again on 2017 when he was allowed to undergo sentencing one more due to a Supreme Court decision in 2012 deciding that it was unconstitutional to sentence a juvenile without the chance of parole. In 2023, Phillips will again be eligible for resentencing trial 25 years since he committed the murder. 
What do you guys think? Isn't this crime so creepy? Imagine sleeping with a dead body under your bed. How could he even? And for seven days? And the fact that the suspect is just 14 years old. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and subscribe for more. Thank <laughs> you.